going to be filming a video on the best apps for school. So before I get started in this video, I am wearing absolutely no makeup except for mascara, but you can't really see that from this distance. But I'm literally wearing like no makeup and I feel great. I feel amazing. So if I look a bit more like dead, <laughs> that's why. So I've got a list of five apps that I have on my phone that I use that really help me in regards to school. So I don't really know what else to say except for getting straight into this video. This isn't going to be a long video. I will include clips of the apps and what they look like so you get a general idea of what they are, just not from me just speaking. So yeah. So the first app that I'll be talking about today is Timetable. has literally helped me so much for schooling. Our school provides diaries, but nobody uses them or they can't be bothered getting their diary out. The reason I have timetable is because I don't like using a diary. The diary that they give us is massive. So I would have inserted a clip of the app, but today I have PE, English, Double Maths, Outdoor Ed and Study. That study lesson is really going to help me. <laughs> so that's pretty much the timetable app. I would definitely recommend everyone who's got school or just has any type of subject plan, whatever. I would definitely recommend that to anybody. The second app that I'll be talking about is MyScript Calculator. It is a calculator which you can write in a way. It's not like that calculator that just comes with the Android or the iPhone or the Windows phone. It's um, something that you download from the App Store and you can pretty much write in with your finger what equation you want to know. So pretty much you can just write in 1 plus 1 equals and then it'll give you the answer and there you go. Pretty easy, extremely um, convenient. The third app is PhotoMath. Now I wasn't able to fully show you how to use it. If there's an equation or a problem that you cannot figure out, PhotoMath is going to figure it out for you. So if you have a sheet of paper and it's got these bunch of like numbers and this massive equation that you do not understand, just take a photo of it and PhotoMath will pretty much sort it out for you, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like my script calculator except it's a bit better in a way because you don't have to like write it in and it's a great way of cheating. <laughs> it doesn't work for everything but 90% of the stuff that you want to take a photo of and sort out the answer for is pretty much going to be there. The next app that I'll be talking about is the Homework app, which is an app that you can also buy in the App Store. I'll insert a clip of what it looks like. Pretty much if you've got any upcoming tasks or assignments due, then you can just shove it in this app and it will pretty much remind you that you've got homework that needs to be done by this certain time. You can put all of your lessons in this app, so when you go to make a task, it asks you what lesson this is for, so you know exactly what the lesson is for, and therefore you have really no excuse of forgetting homework, unless you forget to put it in the app, which I do a lot, because as you can see in the clip, I only have one task, but in reality I have like six at the moment. So if you actually use this app really properly, then this would really benefit you in the long run. The very last app that I'll be talking about today is Elevate, and this isn't really a school-based app, it's more of a brain improving app in a way. I use Elevate every now and then just to get my brain working and thinking and solving problems and reading faster and there was one thing that I got so stuck on um, which was remembering words. I had to do that like 10 times before I actually passed it. Honestly, it probably wasn't even 10, it was probably like 20, no exaggeration. It was so hard and I couldn't pass it and it was frustrating me so much. Yes, that pretty much concludes this video. If you want to see more videos like this, which are like school based and best apps and top 10 favourites, you know, whatever category you want, make sure you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or a comment or a subscribe, do whatever you want, I don't mind. And yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. I'm going to go now. Bye.